Hi everyone, this is Norma with All My Crafts. So now that we have completed the dress that I did the last video on, we are going to work on the crown and the purse to match the dress. Okay, so let me get the materials and show you what we need to make the crown. Now this crown is a little bit different than the crown uh, crowns I've done in the previous tutorials because this crown takes one strand. In the previous tutorials, I used two strands. So this is using one strand of yarn. And this purse kind of matches the same pattern as the dress. So first we're gonna work on the crown and then the purse and let me get the materials that we're going to use to make this. So to make the crown and the purse, we're gonna use the same yarn we used for the dress. Now I lost the label and it kind of unraveled a little bit, but it's the Red Heart Super Saver Ombre Yarn, the fuchsia color, which is a size four medium weight yarn. So that's what we're using for the crown and the purse today. We're also using a stitch marker to mark our rows and we're gonna use a size G crochet hook, okay? So let's get started. So to start off with, we need to do a slip knot here. Okay, I've already done it. And then we're gonna do a chain of five. One, two, three, four, and five. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna work our first row. So I'm gonna take my stitch marker or counter and mark my first row. And this is only, um, I suggest using it if you're a beginner to mark your rows so that you know how many rows um, that where you're at. We need a total of 34 rows. Or you can get a piece of paper or if you feel confident that you can count them, then that's, that's great. So to start row number one, um, we did our five chain here. We're gonna go to that second chain from the hook. We're skipping the first, going to the second and we're working a single crochet and we're gonna work a single crochet all the way across. So at the end of this first row, you should have a total of four single crochets. Okay, there you go. So now I'm gonna do my chain one, turn my work over, and I'm gonna get my little stitch counter and mark it for row number two. Then, starting in row number two and every row after that, we're gonna work in the back loops only. So you have your front loop and then your back loop. So we're working in the back loops in every single row moving forward, okay? So starting with that first one right here, we're working in the back loop right there and doing a single crochet. Back loop and we're doing a single crochet. So we're gonna do this for 34 rows. So again, one single crochet in the back loop. So we're done with row number two. So now we're gonna do a chain one, turn our work over. I'm gonna put row number three on my little stitch counter and start again, back loop only, single crochet. So this is what we're gonna repeat until we have 34 rows. So I'm gonna continue to do this and I will probably see you here. Um, I'm gonna show you what my progress is looking like when we get to about 20 rows or something like that and show you what it's looking like. So again, do a chain one to start the row and then we're gonna do a single crochet in the, each back loop and you should have four single crochets in every row and we're gonna work this until we have 34 rows. Okay, so I'll meet you back here in a little while. So here I have done a total of 22 rows and this is what it's looking like so far. And as you can see, this is very stretchy and you can see the rib effect that is going on right there. So I'm gonna continue to do this until I have 34 rows. So again, what we're doing, doing the chain one, turning the work to start the new row and we're gonna do a single crochet in the back loops. So I'm gonna to continue to do this and I will meet you here when we have a total of 34 rows. So here I have completed my 34 rows and this is what it's looking like. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect both pieces together, okay? So this is where we left off. So now what we're gonna do 
is I'm folding it in half. So my loop that I ended is right here. And this is the other side. We're going to connect both pieces and we're going to do a slip stitch. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the stitch on this side right here. That This is where we started. Okay. So I'm going to put my crochet hook through that first stitch right there. And I'm going to put my crochet hook on the loop, but I'm going to tighten that stitch up, of course. Okay. And then I'm going to bring it through that stitch right there. And I'm going to do a chain one just to secure that stitch and to bring both pieces together. Okay. So now I'm going to go back into that same stitch. Okay. And into the stitch right here on the other side in the back. Okay. Right here. And we're going to slip stitch. So all I'm doing is yarning over and pulling through. Now, sometimes this can be a little bit difficult, so you just got to be patient with it and then slip stitch right there. Okay. So we're going to do this all the way across. So you should have about four slip stitches. So now I'm going into the next stitch right here, coming over here, going into the next stitch on the other end and pulling through and slip stitching. just like that and we're going to go into the next stitch right here and then the next stitch on the other side right there and pulling my yarn through to do a slip stitch okay so we have three of them now I'm going into the last one so right here and then on the last one on the other side and pulling through and doing the slip stitch okay so right here you have four of them okay so now I'm gonna flip it over because where we did the slip stitch is the back side so we want this on the inside okay so I'm just kind of flipping it like that so this is the little band that we have so far okay now we have 34 rows okay because that's what we did now what we're gonna do is I'm going to do a chain of one. Of course, you're going to sew that end in right there. We're going to do a chain of one. And now we're going to work a single crochet all the way around. So we had 34 rows, so we should have 34 single crochets. Okay, so to start going in right here, right here, in this little space right here. That's where one of my first rows started. So I'm doing a single crochet there and I'm going to go into the next stitch right here where the opening is doing another single crochet there. Then right here, I'm going to do another one then right here. And all we're going to do is just a single crochet all the way around and you should have a total of 34 single crochets once you get to the other end. So I'm going to keep doing this and I'll see you on the other end here so here I am at the end and I have 34 single crochets make sure you count them because you definitely need 34 single crochets to continue the rest of the crown okay so now what we're gonna do is slip stitch to that very first single crochet okay so we're done with that. So now again, we're going to do a chain one and we're going to do another round of single crochets all the way around. So again, you should have 34 single crochets once you're done with this second round here. Okay, so I'm going to continue to do this and I'll meet you here once we're done with the second round of single crochets. So I'm going to complete my second round and of single crochets and again we're going to slip stitch to close that second round so this is what we have right now okay so now we're going to uh, do our next row and this is the last row so what we're going to do is do a single crochet and now we're going to form those little um those little peaks on the crown here that's what we're going to be doing now so we did a chain of one. So in that very first chain where we did the slip stitch and the chain one, we're going to do a single crochet. Next stitch, 
we're going to work a half double crochet. Let's try that again. Half double crochet. In the next stitch, we're going to do a double crochet. Okay, as you can see, it's forming that little, um, you know, spike right there. So we're going to do a chain of three now. We did the, the double crochet, and we're going to do a chain of three now. And then in that third chain from the hook, one, two, three, we're going to do a single crochet, which is going to form a little pico. Now we're going to do a double crochet in that same stitch where we did the double crochet previously. Okay, well, we just completed. So we have a single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, chain three, then you do a single crochet to that third chain to form that pico, and then you do a double crochet in the same stitch as the other double crochet. Now in the next stitch, we're gonna do a half double crochet, then a single crochet. And there we go, there's our first little point of the crown. Okay, so we're gonna do the same one over again. So now we're gonna start again with a single crochet, half double crochet, and then a double crochet, chain three, one, two, two and three. Then we're gonna do a single crochet to that third chain to form that little pico. Then we're gonna do a double crochet in the same stitch that we did the double crochet before. Okay. Now we're gonna do a half double crochet and then a single crochet. And there's our second one. Okay, now this part here is going to be the middle, so it's gonna be a little bit different. Okay, so we're gonna start again with a single crochet in the next stitch, half double crochet. Then we're gonna do a double crochet in the next stitch then another double crochet in the next stitch. So these are not together, they're separate. Single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, and then double crochet. And they're all separate stitches in their own stitch. Now we're gonna do a treble crochet. So that you wrap your yarn around twice. And in the next stitch, we're gonna do the treble crochet. So one, that and then the last one right there okay then we're gonna do another treble crochet in the same space right there okay so we're doing two treble crochets in the same st space right now okay so we got two of them in there then we're gonna do a chain of three one two and three then we're gonna do a single crochet to that third chain to form the little pico. Then in the same space where we have those two treble crochets, we're gonna do two more treble crochets all into that same space. So this is one, and then we're gonna do another one in that same space. Okay. So technically we have four in that same space. We have two our chain three, the single crochet to form the pico, then two more treble crochets. So that's what it's looking like. Now, we're gonna repeat the same thing as we did on this side here. We're gonna do a double crochet into the next stitch. Then we're gonna do another double crochet into the next stitch. Then we're gonna do a half double crochet in the next stitch and then a single crochet into the next stitch. And there you go. There's that front part of the crown right there. Okay, now we're gonna repeat these little ones right here. Okay, next.
So we're going to go in in the next stitch, do a single crochet, half double crochet, then a double crochet, chain three, one, two, three, and that third chain right there. We're going to do a single crochet to form the pico. In the same space where we did the double crochet, we're going to do another double crochet in that same space. Then we're going to do a half double crochet. And then we're going to do a, and the yarn is breaking up there, a single crochet in the next stitch. Okay, so we're going to do that again. Same stitch pattern here, single crochet. Then we're going to do a half double crochet in the next stitch. A double crochet in the next stitch. Chain three, one, two, and three. Do a single crochet in that third chain from the hook to form the pico. Then do a double crochet in that same stitch where we did the pre the double crochet before. Then in the next stitch, we're going to do a half double crochet and then a single crochet. And right there we have our little spike there. Now we're going to do it one more time. This one here is in the middle and the back. As you can see, this is the front. So now we're going to do one right here and that'll be in the middle of the back of the crown. So now again, we're going to repeat the same pattern. We're going to do a single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, chain three, single crochet to that third chain from the hook to form the pico. Then we're in the same space, we're going to do another double crochet. I don't know why this yarn seems to be splitting apart. Let me try this all over again because I don't like the way it came out. Okay, so I have my double crochet there. So I'm going to do my chain three and then single crochet in that third chain from the hook to form the pico. Then we're going to do the double crochet in the same space as the other double crochet. Then we're going to do a half double crochet. And then the last stitch is a single crochet. And then all we're going to do is slip stitch to the other end to close. Do a chain so we can tug and then we'll eventually cut off. So we are done with the crown. And that's what it's looking like. I think it looks pretty, pretty cool. Okay. And you have this part here, which is the tallest part of the crown is the front, the sides, and then in the back, you got three of them back here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this crown. Let me know what you think about it. So we're going to be working on the purse next. So now we're going to be working on the purse. This is the purse we're going to be making. And we're going to continue to use the same crochet hook, size G, 4 millimeter hook. Okay. So what we're going to do is we need a chain of 11. So I have my 11 here. Let me count just to make sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Okay, so what we're going to do is in the second chain from the hook, skip the first, go to the second. In that second chain from the hook, we're going to work two half double crochets into the same stitch. So that's one, and then two into the same stitch. Okay, now in the next eight stitches, we're going to work a half double crochet. One, two, three, four, oh, let me grab that again, that was four, one, two, three, four, five, so we're going to work a half double crochet until we get to that last stitch. Okay. 
So once we get to that last stitch right here, we're going to work four half double crochets into the same stitch. One, two, three, and four. Okay. Now we're going to work on the other side right here of the chains and we're going to work eight half double crochets. Okay, so we're going to start with this stitch right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, so now in this last stitch right here, we're going to work two half double crochets into the same stitch. Okay, because we started with two and we're ending with two, so we have four, just like on this side, we have four. So now we're going to slip stitch to that very first half double crochet right there. Okay, that's what we have. Now at the end of this round, you should have a total of 24 half double crochets. Okay, so now we're going to do a chain of three because that chain three is going to count as our first double crochet. Now in that same space, but in the back loop only, in the back loop, we're going to work another double crochet. So we're going to go into the back loop and work a double crochet. So we have two double crochets in the same space. Okay, so now we're going to skip a space or stitch. We're going to skip a stitch, go into the next stitch, and in the back loop only, we're going to be working two double crochets into the same space. So that's what we're going to do all the way around. We're going to be working double crochets. We're going to skip the next stitch and then go into the next one. And in the back loop, we're going to work two double crochets. Skip this one. In the back loop, work two double crochets. Skip this one, go to the next one and work two double crochets. Okay, skip this, go to the next and work two double crochets. So I'm going to continue to do this and I will meet you at the end of round number two. So I'm here at the end. So now we have just the one stitch left right here. Now this stitch here is from where we first started, where we did the slip stitch and the chain three. So this stitch right here doesn't count. This is the last one that we're skipping. Okay, so we're skipping that stitch and now we're going to go into the third chain that we started, the top of the third chain, and we're going to do a slip stitch right there. Okay, and we're done with that row. So now we're going to do a chain of three. Then we're going to do another double crochet right here in this space, in the same space where we have the chain three, we're just going to do another double crochet. So now we have two double crochets. So now we're going to skip over to the next space right here. Now these are the two double crochets and over here is two double crochets. So in between those two in that space, we're going to work two double crochets, one and two. So we're going to continue to do this all the way around next space, two double crochets. So I'm going to continue to do this and I'll meet you at the end of this round. So here I've completed the next round. So you're going to slip stitch to that top of the third chain right there. Okay. And that's what we have. So this is really round three because the bottom's round one, two, and three. So you can make this as tall as you want, but we're going to keep repeating the same thing. So we're going to do a chain of three. Counts as our first double crochet. Then in that chain, same space, we're going to work another double crochet. 
Then we're just going to cross, move over to the next open space right there, and we're going to work two double crochets into the same space. So we're going to do this all the way around, and I will meet you here at the end. So here I'm at the end of round number four, and again, we're going to slip stitch to that third chain. Okay, now once we're here, because as you see, we're kind of moving over as we're doing this. So now what I'm going to do is, because you want to try to keep um, your starting chain as close as you can to the side right here. So what I'm going to do for this next round, okay, which is round one, two, three, four, round number five, I'm going to slip stitch over to this space right here. And let me do that slip stitch over because I'm seeing some strands out of place there. So I'm going to slip stitch, slip stitch, okay. And then at this point, I'm going to do my chain three, one, two, and three. And then again, work another double crochet in that same space. So we have two double crochets in the same space. Then we're going to work the same thing all the way around, two double crochets in every space. Okay. So I'm going to continue to do this, and I'll see you here at the end of this round. So we're at the end of round number five here, and again, I'm going to slip stitch to that top of the third chain there. And as you can see, we're starting to be more centered over here to the side, because we, you know, we want to be um, evenly when we start, um, you know, working on working on these little straps here okay so now again we're going to do a chain of three two and three and this is round number six so in the same space right here we're going to work another double crochet right there and then we're going to repeat again two double crochets in every open space two double crochets next space two double crochets so I'm going to continue this and I'll see you at the end here so I'm at the end of round six and I'm going to slip stitch to close this okay so we're going to do one more round of the same pattern so in this case I'm going to slip stitch over here to the center right here to the next opening space right there we're going to do our chain three and do the chain three one two and three counts as our first double crochet and we're going to do another double crochet in that same space and we're going to repeat the pattern two double crochets in every space all the way around okay so I'll see you here at the end so we've completed round number eight okay and this is what the purse is looking like and we're on the side right here okay so now what we're gonna do is do a chain one and we're gonna do a single crochet all the way around starting with this first one and you should have 24 single crochets still okay and we're gonna do it through both loops so it's not back loop, it's just both loops, and we're going to do a single crochet all the way around. So I will see you here when we're done with this row here of single crochets. To, the, to end the row, we're going to do a slip stitch right there, okay? So this is what the purse is looking like. Okay, so now we're going to form these little straps right here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to slip stitch to the next space over right here. Okay, and we're going to do a chain one and we're going to do four single crochets. One, two, three, and four. Okay. Okay. 
Now we're going to do a chain of 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So that's what we have. We have a long chain of 20. Okay. Now we're going to skip one, two, three, four stitches. Okay. So we have the long chain of 20. We're going to skip four stitches. One. Okay. This is where we did the last single crochet. So we're going to skip four. One, two, three, four. And then in that next one, starting right there, we're going to work a single crochet. And along this corner here, we're going to work a total of eight single crochet. So that one is counting as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay. So we've finished this little strap on this side right here. Okay. And now we're on this side. Okay. So now we're going to do again, a chain of 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Okay, so now we're going to skip four stitches. One, two, three, four. And then in that next one, we're going to work a single crochet and we're going to work a total of four along this side. So that's one, two, three and then four is where we did that slip stitch four okay and over here we did the four to start with so we did four to start and four to end and now we're going to simply slip stitch to close do a chain and you're done with your purse so this is what we have right here okay so now if you wanted to work that little flower <laughs> You can work the little flower and add it right here. So I will probably do that. I'm going to work on the flower. I showed you how to make the flower in the tutorial um, for the dress. And I will leave the link for the dress in the description in case you guys missed that. But um, you can put the little flower there or you can leave it like this. It's totally up to you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and we made the purse and the crown and please make sure you leave your comments let me know what you think i love hearing from you guys and make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification button so that you don't miss any of my videos so that's it for today guys i hope you guys have a great day and again thank you very much good night